Thank you very much. Uh, Tomorrow I'll tell you about how I ended up eventually uh, developing an algorithm for detecting stop and trip periods in raw position data like GPS samples. Basically, I wanted to go from this to this. Therefore, I was looking for an annotated trajectory data set, but with clear labels indicating if one sample was recorded during a period of dwelling at a position, stopping, or during a, pr a time of transit between moving between two places from, from one to another. We found, of course, plenty of openly available data sets, um, but none of these contained any stop or trip labels to distinguish uh, periods from dwell or transit. Today, I'll present to you our solution to this problem, a new publicly available data set um, of GPS samples, including precise stop and trip annotations. My name is Robert Spang, researcher at the Quality and Usability Lab of Technical University of Berlin. And our main goal here was to create a new data set containing plain everyday life, containing all the relevant aspects from working, traveling, periods of vacation, everything that general basic people do all the time, but with a precise and labeled annotations for each and, uh, and each and every sample, if that was a trip or if that was a stop. To record this data set, we modified the micrologger open source app, uh, so it also recorded accelerometer data and put it into the pockets of our data donors. The app continuously recorded position data and physical motion of this tracking device, and other than that, participants were instructed to interact with the phone as little as possible, only charge it overnight and bring it along the next day. To obtain annotations, we developed a little companion app. And while our participants recorded position data out of their pockets, they manually labeled stops with the second app at the same time. This companion app is really, really simple. It offers mostly only a single button to begin or end the logging of being at a place. Participants were instructed to press this button once as soon as they arrive at the place and press it again as soon as they leave it. For example, imagine riding your bike to an next grocery store. Um, as soon as you get off the bike to lock it, you would first indicate that you are arrive, have arrived at a place um, and then you lock your bike, go inside, do your shopping, pack everything together and unlock your bike again. And just before you're really getting off that place, you would indicate leaving really that place. Uh, step, stop. This way, annotations capture the general larger concept of a place, an ent entity that you believe is a connected spot rather than distinguishing between the bicycle rack and the shop entrance, because that's kind of out of scope for our purpose. Participants were instructed to record every stop that they believe would last longer than one minute. This should ensure that we not accidentally capture waiting at the traffic lights, but really capture all the places that are meaningful to them. All in all, we captured 100. Ah, right. We captured 126 consecutive days of movement through mostly urban but also rural environments, and this is an exemplary plot of the actual recorded GPS samples over that time period. The dataset contains over 120,000 GPS samples and over 7.8 million accelerometer samples. The movement diary captured at the same time includes 692 stops at the same time. That's mostly or around about 5.5 stops per day. You can use this QR code to scan it right now to get to the data set and you'll also find a reference to the paper going more into detail about how, why and what we've done um, in, in, in detail. But the most important thing to remember is now there is a large stop and trip annotated data set. So the next time you think that come in handy, check out our Staga data set. Thank you very much.